This podcast is distributed for general informational and educational purposes only and is not intended to constitute legal, tax, accounting, or investment advice. The information, opinions, and views contained herein are our own and may be subject to change at any time without prior notice. All investment strategies and investment involve risk of loss. Any reference in investment past or potential performance is not and should not be construed as a recommendation or as a guarantee of any specific outcome or profit. All right, everybody, quick little video on Bitcoin. Here we go. Look at that weekly candle. If you're not bullish on that weekly candle, I don't know what to tell you. Incredibly, incredible, incredible, incredible. Looking at closing. Yesterday, we closed above this, the 38.17 on the daily, which is nice. Obviously, big, huge reaction off that. We've got this little bit of little cluster right here that we would want to see, obviously, you know, for the continuation to go up, but I'm still bullish that we're going to be going forward with Bitcoin, especially if we get a retest of the 31.7 or 38.170, something along the lines of this. If we're here, coming in here, test it, moving this way, and then up, boom. So I'll probably look at entering in some longs and exiting out of my. Uh, uh, BTC longs, I should say, margin longs, and exiting, starting to exit out of my uh, altcoins as we see this potentially come to fruition. Doesn't mean it can't drop all the way down here, but there's a lot of bullish momentum. Everything else is looking really good. So my guess, we see a retest. That's going to be your best place to long. Uh, 38,734, maybe a wick down to 38,17, even the 39, and looking to go forward from there. Let's see... Uh, I have a fib up for the potential targets. Uh, your 1618.53. That should be your first area of potentially taking profit. Uh, 2618.77 and then 3618 uh, at 112. Uh, this trend line is the one I'm watching to keep intact. Once we break that trend line, uh, I feel like we're going to go in a little bit longer of a consolidation. So keeping that intact is a must. Um, but super bullish here. And let's see, 55 by middle of March and April 77. Yeah, okay, it looks good. Looks good. So again, looking at these targets uh, for potential buys or uh, margin longs that I'm going to do at 39.6, 38.7, 38.1. You know, that's that's what I'm looking for. All right.